What is up you guys, it is Sam here, and today I will be teaching you how to install shaders for Minecraft 1.5.2 on your Mac. Here we go. So the first thing you need to do is you need to open up your finder. In your user folder, in this case this is the name of my user folder, you might not have a library folder. Here is how to get it back. Open up terminal and type ch flags no hidden squiggly slash library slash and press enter. I will of course paste this code in the description below for you all to see. Let's get out of that. Now that that's there, simply minimize the finder and now let's open up Safari. I will actually leave a link to this forum in the description and I will also leave a link to this and this and of course this. So let's start from the beginning. The first thing you need to download is this, the GLSL shaders mod. It will open up this window, simply click download. And it will download. I believe I already have multiple files already, yep I do. So that is awkward. <laughs> so I will just delete these old files, I have some older, file, some older files here. All right, so this should be the file you have so far. It should be called shaders mod mc1, although since I had a copy, it was mc1-1, I, I don't know. <laughs> it was, I had another copy. And then you wanna download this file called shader packs folder, which is this one. Click download, and that will download as well. All right, let's let that do its thing. And then you are going to want to go to optifine.net slash downloads. I will leave this in the description below. And you need to download the most recent update for Optifine 1.5.2 HDU D3. Click mirror and you should be led to a window that looks like this. Your download link will be between two ads. Click the download link and sometimes a pop-up window might be found and a request is not found sometimes. So let's press enter again and a request is not found. Let's try it again. Let's press mirror and let's press download. And there we go. <laughs> there we go. Little technical difficulties there on the Mad Dog the Robot YouTube channel internet. <laughs> and all right, Shaders Packs is still downloading. It is almost there. Let's wait for it. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are probably wondering why are they downloading as folders and not zip files? Well, I will tell you why. In Safari, if you go to Safari and Preferences, there is something here checked called open safe files after downloading. If you have this checked, it will download them as files and not zip files. Do not freak out if you have this checked. All right, let's get rid of that. Now let's go back to our finder window. In our finder window on your user folder, you wanna to go to library, application support, Minecraft. Now in your Minecraft folder, here are the files you want to save. You wanna save your saves file, your stats file, your texture packs file. And normally if you have a server, you will save a server's file as well. And that should, and of course your options file, cause that's pretty important. So let's get rid of the rest of these. Let's move them into the trash. Now let's open up Minecraft. Now in Minecraft, you wanna put in your username and password. You wanna click remember password, go to options, do force update, click done, and then click log in. Now for some reason, Mojang servers were pretty slow the last time I did this, so I will speed up the footage and see you guys on the other side. And after a very, very long download, here we are. The Minecraft screen is loaded. Now I must remind you, you need to have a Minecraft Premium account to do this. If you have an illegal copy of Minecraft, this will not work. You need to actually pay for the game. I know, life sucks. All right, let's quit the game here. And now go to in, back in your finder, in your Minecraft application support folder, go to bin and go to your minecraft.jar, press the enter key and change the extension from minecraft.jar to minecraft.zip. Use that. Unzip the file simply by double clicking and then delete your zip file and rename this folder to .jar or minecraft.jar, add the extension .jar. And now in your brand new minecraft.jar folder, scroll down until you find a file that says meta-inf. You are going to want to delete this file. Let's see, here it is. Simply delete it. And also, I forgot to remind you, in your minecraft folder, in your minecraft folder, drag your texture packs, 
texture packs, options.txt, stats, saves, and your server's file. If you have one back into the folder, it will just replace those files. So let's replace them. All right. Now back in the bin file with your folders that are in your downloads folder. First open up your Optifine folder. You will find a bunch of these class files. Select all of the class files simply by selecting the one at the top. Go to the bottom, hold down shift, and that'll select all of them. And drag them into your Minecraft.jar folder. Then click apply to all and click replace. All right, that's part one. So let's delete that Optifine folder. Part two, installing the shaders mod folder. Then you need to, of course, repeat the same process. Select the first folder, scroll down, hold shift, select the last one, and then drag those into your Minecraft.jar folder. Click apply to all and then click replace. All right, delete that shaders mod folder. And now here's what you want to do. You need to now log back in to your Minecraft account. Let's do that. All right, now quit the game. A new folder should appear right in your Minecraft application support folder called Shader Packs. Open up your folder that says Shader Packs that you downloaded, and then you want to select all the zip files from cartoon shaders.zip all the way down to Zeke's version 10 RC7 and drag those packs into the Shader Packs folder in your Minecraft application support folder. It's a lot of steps. And now go back into Minecraft, go to login, go to login, <laughs> and then after logging in, let's make this full screen here, go to options, shaders, and personally, the one that I found pretty useful, in fact, I think we'll just select one that's, well, usual, um, I will select, how about this one? Let's select this one. Click done, go to single player, go to a new world, create a new world, or go to a world you already have. And shader should be installed. So let's see. Let's see, building the terrain. And this will be incredibly laggy. I will warn you ahead of time. This might just be a little laggy because my Mac is weak and can't handle this stuff. And as you can see, shaders is installed again. I apologize for the lag, but it looks absolutely gorgeous despite the lag and yeah so that is how you that is how you install shaders on your mac for minecraft 1.5.2 all right guys thank you so much for watching if you have any questions comments or concerns please leave a comment below and if you are new to the channel and you want to subscribe for more gaming tech tutorials and reviews and more tutorials such as this one hit that subscribe button down below and if you really enjoyed this video hit that like button down below as well all right guys thank you so much for watching i am sam signing off